Hello, welcome, welcome to another INFJ Ramble. Um, I was inspired to make a video <laughs> um, because of a comment that I received and I was just like, hmm, let's explore that topic. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I feel like, um, I don't know, not many people can probably handle my, I don't know, my inclination to explore topics deeply. I feel like, I don't know. I, on the other hand, find great joy in these things because, you know, it's just like, I want to understand. I want to understand what we're saying and what that means. And I don't know. Oh my gosh. I'm like hypey. Um, okay, so somebody left a comment and they are like asking me if I was single or married. And honestly, um... I'm focusing on myself. I'm focusing on myself. I'm not really like really interested in entertaining any kind of relationship with another man, I suppose. Is that is that like yeah, that's pretty like clear. Um I spent more than half my life trying to appease and I guess do everything that a woman is supposed to do to help create a healthy connection with someone and um, no I don't I mean yeah lucky man lucky man because um, this lucky and I tried getting to without too much information lucky man's <laughs> yeah um, took me for granted emotionally and mentally manipulated and neglected my needs. Um, ended up backstabbing, back, backstabbing me over and over and over. Um, choosing other people over me. Um, giving, yeah, I mean, lucky man. Is it lucky for me? Lucky me because I got the lesson. I got the lesson. I um, realized that I am not okay with that kind of behavior. And I'm not going to tolerate that behavior. And I'm certainly not going to waste any more of my life waiting around for these people or this person to change. And I am going, I'm not putting my life on hold and I'm not making any more excuses. I'm choosing myself. I'm choosing myself and my relationship with the Most High. You know, so lucky man that he had a really good woman by his side and he just totally neglected her and took her for granted. But then again, I allowed it because I thought that I was doing the right thing by being the kind person, by being the people pleaser, by being, you know, quiet, by making myself small by um, doing more than my fair share of the work, you know. Um, all this person just kind of got um, a free ride and I allowed him to gaslight me and manipulate me and abuse me. You know, like, I'm, I'm good. I'm not really interested in any relationships. All I'm interested in, if anything, are healthy, healthy relationships with healthy people who have done their own inner work and who gives and receives the same way I do. Yeah, um, that's why I don't know if it's been apparent, but I've just been hyper-focusing on understanding relationship dynamics with myself, with others. Yeah, and I just don't tolerate it. Um, lucky man. Lucky mans. That find a good woman. And they take her for granted. And make her feel, make her feel small. So he can feel big. Um, yeah, that's my little ditty on that. <laughs> Not interested in relationships with, like, I'm good. 
my relationship with myself is the priority and I am putting that first and foremost as I move forward. And if anybody tries to thief on my peace, um, gaslight me, blame shift, manipulate, lie, cheat, deceive, no thank you. You can go there. No thank you. Yeah, I spent most of my life um, being, I mean, if you look at my videos, I've been a people pleaser, I've been like, being too nice and I 2023 taught me the hardest and most essential freaking lesson ever that when you put your needs last then you allow people to mistreat you and abuse you and take you for granted when you put yourself last when you put your needs last when you don't speak up when you don't have strong boundaries you know it's exhausting and I'm still in recovery mode, if I were to be honest. And yeah, keeping it real, keeping it 100. That's what I do, you know, but a lot of people maybe don't know how to do that. And that's okay, but I don't have time for that. Um, what else? Oh, also really important lesson I learned. And like before, I was like, listen to your heart. It's important to listen to your heart. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. It's very important to listen to your gut and intuition. Logically work something out. You know, just logically. It's important to be able to be logical and rational in order to find reason, you know. Um, the thing is, when you are not discerning and when you are not using these different functions holistically, then you will view life through a very limited perspective, which creates chaos. Think about it. So if you like are predominantly like functioning from your heart space and that's it, um, you're going to make really like interesting decisions that may not be balanced or may not be logical. Um, if you only function from your logic, then you're not using your feelings. And so you're making like also decisions and choices that create chaos because it's imbalanced. Um, I wanna say your intuition, I'm still exploring this, but your intuition is also very important. But I feel like you need to almost like get all the aspects of your yourself to get a clear idea of what is happening, you know, versus a distorted or chaotic idea of what is happening. And then you can make, you'll, you'll have really good reasoning because you'll be able to see things from a very realistic perspective without neglecting any of your faculties, if that even makes sense. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's all I have to say. Um, if you learned something from this video, cool. If you didn't, that's cool too. But you know what? I take full responsibility. I take full responsibility for allowing people to mistreat me, take me for granted, um, abuse me, neglect me. I take full responsibility. I allowed it because I thought it was love. But that's the thing, I was only functioning from my feelings. And so I was creating chaos, but then I started taking a step back and going, hmm, okay, I feel these things. My intuition is telling me this. Logically, this is what I am seeing. Realistically, this is my reasoning. And then I started making choices that way. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I was being very unhealthy. And that person was very unhealthy. But my goal is to be healthy and whole in myself and not only be kind and loving and peaceful, but also not to allow other people to thief on my peace. And so right now it's all about meeting my needs, making myself happy, being at peace with myself and not letting anybody take away from that.
Blessings to one and all. Amen.